friends and family. In this video, I will be sharing some scary moments that I have experienced while having COVID-19. I'm sharing these scary moments with you because I've heard a lot of people say that um, the coronavirus is maybe not as a big deal. It definitely is a big deal. It's affecting so many people, um, older people, younger people, children, and it is something that you should definitely take serious. I know at least 50 people that I know personally that are either have already passed away, are in the hospital right now, or have the coronavirus. I'm letting you know right now in the community that I live in and the surrounding area, we are really being affected. And like I said, a lot of people close to home with this virus. A scary moment was after a few days of having symptoms of the coronavirus, not being able to sit up or feel like I wasn't able to move when I woke up. So just a lot of pain in my sides, in my back, in my chest, so where it felt like I could not move. That was scary. It ended up being pneumonia. So another scary thing with this virus was just how tired it made me. There were days where it was hard to wake up. Also, when I did wake up, just um, just really having the strength to finally open my eyes, only to shut them again and want to go right back to sleep, which I did, which is a scary thing. Not being able to wake up is scary. The next thing is not being able to talk. Um, there was one day specifically that I remember that um, just from the difficulty breathing, uh, my chest feeling so heavy and just also being totally exhausted. My kids came into the hallway to talk to me and I had to motion to them uh, to get their phone and I ended up just texting them, letting them know I cannot talk today, we can text each other, I'll be okay, don't worry, I just can't talk today. That was scary. So another scary moment was when I had already been sick for about two and a half weeks and thought I might start to be feeling better and then started feeling tingling and numbness in my um, legs and my arms and also um, it just felt kind of like a crawling, tingling and numbness that covered my first my right side of my face and then also just felt like it was like crawling on my brain and it was covering my head all on the right side. So this tingling kind of like the whole side was asleep but it wasn't and um, that was a weird feeling but also a little bit scary uh, because when I got up to walk around try to move, try to do something to relieve that, nothing was making it go away. So I called my primary doctor and they said to um, go to the emergency room. So at the emergency room, um, they checked for a stroke. If you don't know, um, the checking things that you can do to check for a stroke at your house, because the coronavirus can cause strokes as well, um, is one is to smile, like smile in the mirror and see if your um, smile is crooked. If your smile is unusually crooked, then um, that can be a sign of a stroke. Also, can stick your tongue out and see if your tongue is um, like sideways. <laughs> Sorry for that, but, and see if it's like turning sideways. And also, uh, slurred speech. So if your speech is really slurred, then that can be a sign of a stroke. So they checked those things they also checked like um, reflexes and, and see if I could do those things. They also did w blood work and checked um, for electrolyte sodium and um, I don't know the other things. But already because I had been to the hospital a few days prior um, for the pneumonia, I had already started taking in a lot of fluid, drinking things like Powerade and Gatorade, which have a ton of electrolytes. So I was good in that area and was able to come home. And that symptom did last for several days. So you may have heard that this virus causes some crazy vivid dreams. One of the scary vivid dreams that I had was of, and you know, it's crazy because you don't know whether you are awake or asleep 
or somewhere in between. I think I was somewhere in between at this moment because it felt very much like I was awake. So, um, in this crazy dream, uh, there was this little like furry, cute creature that looked friendly, um, and he had me there, um, kind of like tucking me in, rolling me up, putting like layers of like blankets or something on me. And um, it was kind of like an anim animated, like cartoon thing. So this little furry creature, I can just see my head there, and he's like ruling me up, kind of like a burrito. And then he gets the little package of me and zips me up over my head. So I'm asleep, or somewhere in between. And I just like wake up and I'm asleep. <laughs> and it's and granted, I probably had that dream because I was feeling like I couldn't breathe, but that was crazy. So another scary moment was um, a phone call that I got from my mom. So uh, it was nighttime. I was laying in the dark. I just had her on speakerphone listening to her talk. She's, and my mom starts telling me about all of the thousands of people that have already died from the coronavirus. I had to stop my mom and tell her, Mom, this is how I look, <laughs> Mom, your daughter is here struggling to breathe, and you're talking to me about the thousands of people that have died from the coronavirus. And she's like, oh, well, I'm just telling you because this is what was on the news, and I'm like, I know, but I can't breathe. So, <laughs> pray for me. Tell me you love me, and I'm going to go to sleep. A scary moment that happened yesterday. My youngest son, Sammy, he woke up and was having um, chest pain, pain on his sides, and um, a lot of soreness in his arms, which are similar symptoms to what I've had. He's had a few other symptoms, maybe um, for about a week and a half but um, not coughing, not sore throat, not those other things. Um, so hearing that he was having those symptoms, um, which I know the coronavirus can lead to pneumonia, um, that was scary. And my last scary moment was um, the other day when I tried to eat a bit of brownie. Um, I just like broke off a corner and thought, maybe I can eat this right now. I'll just try it and see. Put it in my mouth and it was like, I had to spit it out, and I'm like, realized, like, no, I can't eat chocolate! <laughs> also, my mom made some chocolate chip cookies and brought me a few. I took one bite and was like, no cookies, no brownies, no chocolate for me. This has been COVID Scary Moments with Catalina. Tune in next time for Weird Symptoms with COVID. Thank <laughs> you.